which cost can be treated as cash flow? Which cost can be treated as cash flow? Book? Others? So hopefully if I give you a question, okay? And uh, so I give you these three options. And uh, so optimal cost, some cost, full cost. And uh, so which one can be treated as cash flow? That means cash flow means something good happen, okay? And you need to make it as a cost. So, so it's opportunity, stock, book, or now the bow. <laughs> so how about some cost? No. no? Why is so many people say no? What's the reason? Book cost?
understand that this is a peak, peak, very peak. Because we, we said this one is just something nominal, okay? It's nothing substantial. Nothing is really, did you really spend this cost? No. But cash flow is something happening. You spend out $100 happen, right? The 100 cost. You earn 100 today, then 100. You cannot see it because I sit here and uh, I have uh, lose lots of opportunity outside, right? Then the cost is too much. No, you never, actually you did not spend any money, right? So opportunity cost cannot be in the cash flow, okay? Book cost, we said, is just a for, it's also nominal, nominal term. It's just a for tax purpose. Just uh, to calculate how much tax you need to pay, okay? Never put book value as into cash flow, or book cost into cash flow, never, never, okay? Sunk cost. Sunk cost is something really happen. Okay? You just like you invest in this project. After today, you want to make a decision and continue or no? Okay? And so although it will not affect your decision, but this cost is really happen. Right? So this sunk cost is something really happen. So it needs to be in cash flow, okay? So the sum cost should be in the cash flow. But only, so in these three, is the only one you need to consider when actually uh, draw a CFD cash flow diagram, okay? And then different opportunities, sum cost, and uh, this definition, okay? And uh, then we discuss we discuss uh, into different economic economic denominators, okay? And uh, inflation, deflation, so different reasons, okay? And uh, so deflation cost is uh, opposite to the inflation, right? As long as you understand. The inflation, and uh, so you will understand the deflation, okay? And all circulation, okay? Sometimes in the future, some students will be working as maybe a coordinator, contract coordinator, or a contracting person, okay? And uh, so this class needs to be defined clearly. Just like, so today, or uh, right now, the real estate market is very hot, right? And uh, so the price, price is changing, is changing, 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 okay? And uh, then, if you buy, or if you are owner, okay? If you are owner, and uh, so you want to sell this one, uh, sell this house to a person, and uh, you have to be a contract, or free contract, okay? agreement and uh, you may so to make sure actually you will lose you will not lose much money you can see you can see if a new person okay or if this price changing very quickly okay just like a double and then in that case the buyer needed to pay maybe more maybe half you know, maybe actually the additional value, just like originally is 100,000, okay? But tomorrow, the real value is to 200,000, okay? Then you lose the 100,000 money. So the buyer, they want to pay 50,000, okay? And so as you make up, you lose, okay? Your loss. And so, so this is a clause really to deal with uh, the inflation, okay? And uh, we have discussed the, the consumer CPI and the different inflation, um, inflation.
is uh, actually risen, okay? And uh, we discuss currency change. And uh, sometimes, sometimes, because of money supply inflation, we said because uh, more money is supplied, but the product on the market is limited. I think, so you still actually, uh, I think you still remember, and uh, during around uh, the COVID-19 season, okay? And uh, at the beginning, or uh, in the middle, for all the rationale we're still in, okay? But uh, actually at some time, and I think it's around March of last year, okay? The Federal Reserve, okay, it's like, they invested 700 billion to purchase some bonds from a bank, from a bank, okay? And uh, so that actually something wanted to inflate, mar inflate the market, okay? With a technique we call quantitative easing, okay? Why they need they want to buy bonds, okay, with the federal money? Because at that time it seems things, it seems everything is is real or static. That means it is water, okay? That means this water is kind of uh, dead, okay? No economic activity. No economic activity, that means no GDP growth, right? And of course, any country does not want to see this kind of thing happen, okay? And then we use the economic technique we call quantitative easing, okay? And the federal government invest some money, okay? And to buy bonds, okay, from the uh, bank, from the different organization, okay? Then this money can be go to at the market. Then on the market, we have more money. We, well, when, once we have more money, then we, we will have activity. And also because the bank have more money, then in that case, when you get loan from them, the interest rate will be lower, okay? Then we will have more economic activity. So this actually is a, is a currency, uh, actually is a money uh, economic uh, technique, okay? And uh, so sometimes just to want to uh, stimulate actually the market, okay? Want the market to be active rather than inactive. So exchange risk, last time we give you an example, right? And uh, when the risk actually change, and the price of goods, actually especially when you import, okay? When you import some goods from, from another country, okay? And then, because the rate change, rate exchange, exchange rate change, okay? And then, then actually uh, the price, the price change, price change. Okay, last time we we actually give you example is one hundred, originally it is two hundred something, right? And uh, somehow it become one hundred. So. Also, this one change, okay? But as a different, if you're a seller or if you're a consumer, you're different. The meaning is different, right? Let me ask a question. If you are importer, Okay, if you are importer, you export something, 
to a producer and export the product to another country. Okay? So you want this or you want this? You want the first currency risk or second currency risk? If you are importer, which one you want to get? Do you want to change from here to here or change from here to here? Which one you are right now? Your exporter or your importer? Exporter or importer? So last time, do you still remember last time? If you are consumer or if you are importer. If we change from here to here, so what is the apple price change from 100 to how much? To 50 or to 200? 200, right? So when we change, when we change from here to here, after this apple price change from 100 to 200. As an importer, do you want that thing happen? No, right? Then you want this entity to this. Reverse from this to this. So exporter is different in the opposite situation. That means this is a game, okay? Some people want this change rate to be higher. Some people want this to be lower. But this one is something at the central bank control, okay? So the individuals cannot control actually this exchange rate. Okay, and so different people, uh, different rules actually can be affect, affected by this exchange rate in different situations, okay? So demand for inflation, okay? Sometimes the product is too limited, okay? And just so we just have, only have two apples, but we have two million dollars on the market. How much is per, per apple? One million, right? But if we have one million apples on the market, we have one million money on the market. One apple just one dollar, right? Because because the product, because the demand. Okay? So cost push inflation. Sometimes the cost is high. Okay? Sometimes, so right now, I think the steel price, I just read the actual news that the price of the steel materials in the US right now is around double. So double means the cost of a building, if everything is double, right? And then the cost will be double. In this case, of course, the price will be higher, right? Will be doubled or more than that, right? And this will be good to uh, because production chain, right? And uh, so, cost increase. And when you sell the product, this will, of course, this cost will be eventually go to where? Go to the customer, right? The end user. And uh, so, through the product chain. Deflation, offset of inflation, okay? So, the affiliation, 
and the two missiles tightly used to come their first in Greece. Attack for contact. Germany would have one cloud. And uh, two to accommodate this situation, just like just like um, in the real East case, contact and uh, if a competitive buyer came within two weeks, they offer no comment to the seller receive a higher company competing offer, then the buyer will pay more than that. Okay? And then this is a cliffhanger clause. And uh, so many, many contracts and uh, include this clause. Okay? And uh, to deceive to the seller. So currency variation, okay, and uh, so this is a policy something, is a policy thing, and uh, so we cannot actually uh, do anything related to that. And uh, policy is politics, and uh, only some people can, can control, you know, these things, right? And uh, so as an individual, it's quite difficult, unless you are politician, right? So, uh, income, property, inventory, employment, these are related to the call tax, okay? And we have different tax, we have different, uh, a lot of tax, either uh, at local or federal or state level and different costs, right? And uh, so, sometimes it's uh, based on the total, Okay, sometimes these are actually the uh, the increase, okay, and uh, or uh, we said the, the next dollar. So uh, I think you have learned this in your accounting class a lot, right? And so different tax. And uh, so here so it's actually so this test rate or tax always changing, okay? Just like this is 2015 year, and uh, for different income tax rate, okay? And uh, for different income levels, single and uh, different situation. So this is uh, 2021, okay? And uh, so you will see change a lot. 10%, 12, uh, 15%, 10%, 12%, okay? And these are similar levels. And uh, so this is some cost you need to consider actually at different time. And uh, two, you need to get updated information. Okay? And uh, when you make an estimate, and uh, when you actually do budget, and uh, for building, you need to consider these things, right? And uh, so, and also for your family income, you need to consider. Uh, the risk. Right, different times, we have different risks. Okay, and sometimes we uh, we have credits. Okay, so this credit is kind of to stimulate stimulate the market. Just like right now, we are investing in uh, renewable energy, right? And uh, if your house use renewable energy, and uh, you will get some credit, okay? Just like, so this is actually to encourage investment, okay? So this shows example, and uh, so if uh, you, your actually house use the uh, solar to charge a battery, okay? And a lot of them still use actually uh, energy storage or lots of community that we have their own big battery, okay? And if you use solar to charge it, and uh, so you will get, uh, if 80% you charge, you charge your battery through solar, then you will get 24% for your investment, okay? And uh, tax credit. So this is a tax credit, right? And so that means you submit tax, you get tax return, right? And uh, so 
you have tax investment, you have tax credit to different flows, right? Okay, so these are the actually the terms which are used the journey, okay, and uh, to the future uh, for the calculation for the decision making uh, related to cost. Okay, then uh, after we have uh, laid the foundation, we have uh, actually said uh, the probability theory for uncertainty, right? So we have uh, prepared to know uh, some new terms. Right now, we really get into actually one subject, okay, which are time value of money. So from now on, we will be lots of formulas between now, between future, between uh, now, present value, future value, okay, future work. And uh, nothing is difficult, okay? But don't be lost, don't be lost. Sometimes some students really do not understand that formula, okay? If you understand one formula, all the formulas will be there, okay? Just derive, derive, that's all, okay? And uh, so, but we have some uh, actual formulas quite complex, okay? And uh, so you need to understand them. But essentially, it's time value and money, okay? Right, this first example. If you are a winner, okay, of some jackpot. And you have two options, okay? And uh, so you get you get this media and uh, so you can sell it today, this month. You need to pay tax, right? And you can sell uh, this a year or thirty years. Which one would you want to sell? This is these are two options. Actually, the lottery organization just uh, give you. Okay, you choose. Which one you want to sell? Which one? Second one. Why? <laughs> Just uh, want, want to avoid some tribulation. You get this big money. Then you put into a game. You lost it, right? You want to avoid that kind of situation. Then you can sell one year, one year, one year, right? And, uh, so that is another another thought. But right now we want to get the the real value. Okay, the real value. Which one is better, okay? And then, this is something we need to consider. Actually, is Of course, you want to get that is either way, right? Uh, one is you get it, a big money, okay? Another one is you get it different time. Right? And uh, this is this is one nine two point two seven. This is nine point nine seven nine. is better we need to compare. How to compare? How to compare? Because these are the nominal, this one is larger than this, right? But it's a one time happening. It's a one time occurring, right? And this one actually is 30 years of currency. And then which one is better? So this is uh, compare 
turns in quantum. Okay, so we we need to know is at different time, okay, at different time, how we can actually aggregate all the things with one single time. So in future, in future, when we learn the formula, you will see you can change this to this. Okay, you can change this to this. Okay, then if we can change this to the above situation, then if this is one man one, okay, if we change this to one time, if then if your value is one man one, but this value is one and two, that means this is better than this. Right? Then this is better than this. And also we can transform this, okay, this situation to the series. Thank you. 